configuration often decides if something is working out or not. It's the same in the print-on-demand business like it's in daily life. In this POD basic tutorial video, I show you how to configure your template that you have the highest chance to sell something on Spreadshirt. What we do here is very simple and clean. If you're new to the print on demand business and you have to learn how to design, how to write a listing and so on, I know it can be very confusing. So this step-by-step -step guide will help you to create your perfect spreadsheet template. And all you need is just a little bit of time to configure, uh, scale and position everything. And the second thing is you need a, yeah, a template with a design with the dimensions you want to use as template or profile on Spreadshirt. The first and probably also the most important rule is always create a template with the dimensions you want to use for the next designs you upload. Most in the print on demand business upload with the standard Merge by Amazon format that's 4500 by 5400. And um, if you create a template for that dimensions, make sure the next design you create are also the same dimensions. If you say you're someone who has um, special sizes for max, for example, then you have also to create another template. When you have, for example, 3000 by 3000 for max, the next designs you upload on this template also have to have the same dimension. So I think you know how the work, this is, uh, how the system works, and that's more or less uh, everything you need to know about that. Okay, first step we do now is create this design template we use um, to set up the profile on Spreadshirt, and yeah, configure, scale, size, everything. You can make this design in. Adobe Illustrator, Photoshop, Affinity Designer, whatever you can decide. We take, of course, the cheapest software we can get, and that's GIMP, that's free. You can download it here. Um, yeah, basic, basic for everyone, basic tool for everyone who starts in the print on demand business. You can scale, get in touch with uh, colors, with different fonts, and so on. So, um, very cool to use in the beginning. And when you've installed it, it will look like this. And all you have to do now is just click here on File, New, enter here the template dimensions you want to have. Click OK, OK, and your template design is created. That's more or less it. We make it a bit more colorful so everybody knows what we are doing. And um, yeah. Now we can work with this and you can click here on export, save it where you want. And this was the first step to create your Spreadshirt template. You can close this when you're done. The second step we have to do is bring our template with the right dimensions to Spreadshirt. So log into your Spreadshirt account and upload this design. Of course, we don't want to publish it in the end, we just want to use it um, as a template. And for a better understanding, why did we do this? Um, you can see here another design, when I click on that one and click on the shirt, you can see here, of course, I can also scale this design and create my um, profile with that one. But, um, Every design you upload, even if it has the same dimensions, um, it's a PNG, so it fills out the space differently. Some uh, has more height, the other has more width, and so on. And um, to don't do anything uh, wrong and be yeah tricked by some transparency of the design, we created this one because when we click here now on the shirt you see it's the full size so no matter how you scale it it will always exactly have the say say uh, the size you want so if you say okay my design should be maximum be this and 
has this position you can make sure when you click now and apply okay no design i upload with the same dimensions will be bigger than this because of it has more uh, height or width or whatever it will always be maximum this position and it will always be that long or had this um, width and so on so okay i think you understand what i mean and now it is more what products you want to have um, it's not forbidden to choose everything you want for example um, depends also the template you want to create if you say hey i want to upload as many products as uh, as i can on spreadsheet you can enable all um, but then you have also to check for example different trademarks for phone cases um, if you create a template for example just for men and women to adult clothing or something like that depends what you want um, you're free to go we don't do too much designs because we should keep it as short as possible um, the thing is we will create now a template for black um, because the black color is the one that should be shown in our shop and it's also the most common one that get be bought by um, customers so make sure in this example um, if you want to create a complete black template that also the black template is always chosen or the darkest color possible is chosen for the articles you want so for example this looks okay um then want to have this one want to have this one and i think you get the system select the products you want um for women we go also with black we don't need this one For example, we want to also have some thing for kids. Yes, and we want to have a mug in the tote bag. And yeah, you see, um, configure everything like you want. We don't need the sticker and if you're okay with the products, if the color, if you're okay with the color selected, then click done. You will be here again. You will have exactly the products you want. And now you can begin, for example, we already did that here with the first one. Um, make designs big on your template, but not too big. Um, when the customer scrolls through Spreadshirt, he will see a lot of designs and um, it has to be yours where um, yeah, where he looks looks at and uh, what wakes some emotions and feelings and you don't wanna, you don't will or you can't reach this when the design is for example this size and but it's also probably a bit dif uh, difficult if your design is this size. So make it big, but not too big. Um, for example, I would say they yeah, are the 87 size is probably 87% scaling is probably perfect for this one, uh, for me, for myself. And um, yeah, we take this one. Also, don't forget, this is the maximum size your design can look like most of them have of course of transparency and they don't fill the whole design we'll have here a little space here a little space or from from the bottom when something like that and yeah this is how you do it now and how you go through all the articles I mean, you have to get a feeling for it, you know. Um, always uh, think, hey, would I buy this uh, or would I buy this position or is it uh, is it cooler when it's scaled directly in the middle or 
should I, is it better looking when I, when the design is a bit more up and something like that, you know? And this is, this is, yeah, what you have to think of, think like the customer and um, you will get a feeling for that and recognize, okay, yeah, it will work like this for me. And when it works for you, it's probably could and will also work for other customers. And you see, okay, to make it a bit faster, this looks okay, this looks okay, this looks also everything okay. Um, and here, yeah, looks also okay. Don't have so much space. Okay, and um, yeah, this is more or less it for the template. So all you have to do now is go to product templates, um, save the selection as template and name it my you can name it of course however you want save it and now you have it and i will show you now what you can do this one you can use this um, example for every template you want for black for white for colorful whatever but if you don't need it anymore just delete it and now i have here Hopefully my designs, I have them. And if I upload, for example, now two designs who have exactly the same dimensions, um, 4,500 by 5,400, click on it. Um, you can ignore this one. If you know what you're doing, the original version is always the better one for you because it's it suits perfectly to your template. And when you now go to product templates and you have here your perfect spreadsheet template, click on apply, boom, it will scale everything and position everything exactly in the way you like. Um, you can of course click on next, uh, next and create your listing. The same for this one. And you see now you need one time that time to create this uh, template um, to configure everything, but then you will save a lot, a lot of time. And with every um, design you upload to Spreadshirt, you will save more time and you will always see the scaling and the positioning is exactly like you want. And this is how you create your perfect Spreadshirt template.